Welcome to a video from the DigitalLives.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 20206 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel. I'm out on the road with my Surface Go using the uh, Surface Bud uh, Surface Buds to re record this audio. So hopefully the audio is not too bad. And there's actually something new to show you in uh, this build. Um, there's some uh, UI changes on the import, some new input controls now. These changes aren't rolling out to all Windows Insiders. They're doing the A-B testing. It's a small subset, all the usual uh, caveats. Um, I've got some of these features, not all of them. So I'll start off with showing you the new emoji picker. So you can do that through Windows and the point key. So here's the new emoji input panel. And you can see it's got a new translucent design, which is nice. But it also has got, um, you can search for emojis here. You can insert animated GIFs, but you have to have an internet connection for that to work. And uh, you've also got the hi clipboard histories in there. I've just put some text into there, but this is where, I don't know if you know this, but you can do Windows V instead of Control V when you're pasting, and it shows you a list of all the things you've put in your clipboard since you last rebooted, rather than just Control V sort of pasting like latest thing in. And this is the clipboard history you've got on there. So you've got the emoji picker and you've got the emojis and all that kind of thing all in there uh, through this one user interface. I think it looks looks quite nice. It's uh, definitely a, an improved experience. The other change is with the keyboard. So I'm going to stick this uh, surface here into tablet mode so I can show you a bit more on the keyboard side of things. So got voice input. Now this is one of the things that is different of the images that go with the blog post and it's, it seems that I haven't got the latest one but the principles are the same you can use the microphone button here and you can dictate into Windows using the uh, using the microphone the on-screen keyboard and it not working now with my headset but um, it's because I'm capturing this but it seems to work pretty well when I tried it on previous builds just on the standalone machines so uh, that's good and you can do things like um, you can pause for, um, you can say like pause dictation, or you can say stop listening, start listening, and all that kind of stuff for it. And there's a selection of languages that supports. So uh, it'd be nice to try this when it does fully fully roll out. You notice the keyboard has also got the different design on there. You've got the, uh, you can switch to the emoji picker on there. And this is exactly the same as the keyboard that was in Windows 10X, the, the, the demo or the test builds of Windows 10X. So you can see it's got that sort of, uh, new look to the keyboard. Um, I, I think it looks quite nice actually. And um, as you can see, also when you start typing, it starts suggesting words for you. Let's go uh, to a browser and check. As I start typing, you can see it's suggesting words up there. Um, I know the other keyboard has suggestions as well, but it's a sort of a new version of that. And like I said, you can drop straight into this emoji view as well. Uh, there's more changes to come. This is kind of not the finished version. And uh, again, insiders are going to A-B test in that as well. So I do like the look of that. There was one other interesting thing as well I noticed in the notes. Um, the other thing I can do is I've got a URL into there and I use the, the touch keyboard. You can use the space to move your cursor. You can see it's moving the cursor around, up and down, left and right. So that's a nice little touch with this with this new keyboard. So the rest of the eight changes are fairly mild. They fixed some DNS encryption issues, some issues with builds uh, and multi-monitors, some VPN issues, um, and um, taskbar pinion issues. There's still known issues. One of the things that I noticed on my previous build, um, no, I didn't realize it when I was recording the video because I used a different machine last time, but it downloaded 39 gigs worth of data on the surface rather than the usual four gig. Um, and they've noted that that should be fixed now but um, if you do get that, make sure you log it with a feedback hub. Uh, they're still getting issues with the settings crashing uh, when you go into the disk management on some devices. It crashes on the Surface Go, it doesn't crash on the on my virtual machine. And they're still uh, they're working on a fix for Linux kernel when using WSL install command. It's not installing correctly as well. So those are the changes in this build. We've got this nice new on-screen keyboard. Um, once I get the finalised version, maybe I'll catch another video of that, but uh, it's looking pretty good, actually. I do like the look of it. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out more on the thegistlifestyle.com. I'm at iStixon on Twitter.